Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how to apply a glow effect to these items. And uh, we're gonna do it with uh, simple curves in uh, 2D. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, this is kind of misleading because we are in a 2D project, a, a grease pencil project, but we didn't use any grease pencil objects. I'm, I'm kind of sad to say that the glow effect can only be applied to curves or meshes, not grease pencil objects. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna close this, um, this down and open up the start file. And as you can see, it looks a little different. And, and all I've done here, to be honest, is imported a, an image. This is just an image. Um, and, I, and I went ahead and, and hit uh, add image, images planes, and then I imported this image. The girl is also an image. It's a PNG with a transparent background. And the neon sign is a, an illustrator file that I imported as an SVG. And I've got a video explaining how to import SVGs. You should go check it out. Uh, it's this is the illustrator file. Um, and all it is is just these lines. And I, I saved it as uh, SVG and then imported it into uh, Blender. And then I colorize, I added a material. Uh, since they are curves, they import as curves. I did not convert them into grease pencil objects because I need the principled BSDF shader to apply the glow effect. And once you convert something into a grease pencil object, you cannot apply the principled BSDF shader onto grease pencil objects. So I'm gonna hit zero, I'll zoom in. And uh, like I said, I, I selected it. When, they, when you first import them, they all come in black. And so you select them, create a material, give it the color, and then color everything. And so the way you add the glow effect is once you apply the material, like I said, this is a principled BSDF shader uh, material, and you want to scroll down all the way down here till you get to the emissions. The emission means that it's going to emit a light. And so right now it's black. All I did was click on this, change the color. Let's go ahead and click on it. Click on that eyedropper and then click on this. And then and now it's going to emit a blue light. And the strength is one. Let's crank that up. And we see no effect. So to see the effect, it's right now it's emitting a light. But you can't see it. To see the effect, you're going to have to go to the scene editor, the little camera icon. We're in the scene editor and, and turn on this bloom effect. Boom, there it is. And so all I have to do now is go back to my materials, select something with this pink, and then click on this emission, click on the eyedropper, select the same pink, and click up the strength, um, crank up the strength, uh, maybe about right there. And now you can see that it's glowing, that's the glow effect. But it really is, technically, it's called the bloom effect. And it's right here in the scene editor, the little camera icon, bloom. If you turn it off, there is no effect. You might be saying to yourself, it looks different than the, the other one. Uh, sure, it's because we've got the white background that comes with the, uh, the uh, blender, the grease pencil uh, options. So let's go ahead and turn that off. I'm gonna go to this shading drop down menu and turn off the scene world lights 
and that gets rid of the white background that that is that is the, by default in a grease pencil scene that gets turned off and still it looks a little washed out so let's go again back to the shading options and this scene is being lit by an HDRI image and you can change that image you can see the difference but we don't want to be having we don't want it to be lit by this HDRI image so the strength I'm gonna just turn it down in fact let me change that one to ugh, to maybe that and turn off the, the strength I'm just gonna turn it on a little bit so we can see what's going on and then turn on scene lights because we're going to be adding lights to this scene now you can see that beautifully but we're having trouble seeing it's too dark so let's add some light guys i'm gonna middle mouse click and and rotate the scene and i am going to add a light an area light first of all i'm going to grab and move it in the y-axis and I'm just gonna put it up here for now, just like that. And then I'm going to point it towards the back, just like this. And this light, we, we don't see the effects because obviously it's a little uh, weak. I'm gonna turn it to blue, a nice shade of blue. And then I am going to crank up the power. I'm gonna crank it enough, like maybe 500. Boom, there it is. Now we see the effects. Now we see the effects. Now we see that this light is lighting the scene. I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna rotate it just a little bit. Uh, and just for you guys to see the effect, let's turn it to about 5,000. Now it's too much. So let's go maybe 700. Boom, there it is. Now we're seeing the effects. Now to get the light effects, but one thing though, I'm seeing a glare here in the background and I want to get rid of that. I want this background wall, brick wall, to not have a specular highlight. So let's select the background. It's just an image. Go to its uh, material properties. And again, it's a principled BSDF shader. And I'm going to get rid of this by increasing the roughness just like that and maybe I want to get rid of the specular highlight and then get rid of it by taking the specular highlight off maybe I want to leave a little bit it's up to, it's up to you now it looks nice it looks really really dark it's only being lit by the light and let's do the same to the girl it's on it's an image it's a uh, transparent PNG and let's uh, get rid of the um, the roughness and also the the specular highlight. I'm gonna leave a little bit on, uh, but that looks a lot better. Now, I'm gonna pull this girl off of the background. I'm just gonna push her forward a bit in 3D. And then I'm going to have this light not cast any shadows. Boom, turn off the shadows. Hey guys, I did a video on light properties. Uh, go check that one out, please. And, and uh, we'll, I went over all these properties in that video. So go check that out for me, please. So let's add a couple lights. Go to the Add menu. Light, Point Light. And let's bring this Point Light forward in fact I want to I want to be able to be in front of the image zero and I'm gonna put this light next to her face like that like that light is hitting her face I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and this is going to be a pink light like that and we're going to cut off some distance let's make it zero and then let's crank it up 
until you see the effect. Uh, let's let's push up the the strength, the power, and the radius, and then the distance to where it catches about half the face. And then I'm going to duplicate Shift D, move this over right about here, and then. Uh, turn this into the blue light. There we go. Hit, uh, I was going to hit the zero, but there it is, guys. There's the scene. Uh, we've got a couple lights lighting her up, uh, and we've got the, the moonlight up here lighting the whole scene. And then we've got these with an emission shader em emitting a light here. And we've turned on the bloom here in the scene editor. And that's the scene. Now, the only thing we have to do now is animate it. So let's go ahead and animate this. We've got four properties to animate. The pink light, the blue light, the pink light, and then the blue light. Right now, currently, we are at 250 frames. I'm just going to reduce it to 50. Hit the home key. Uh, reveal my timeline. Hit the home key. And let's get started. I'm going to bring this up to frame 20. And let's start with this blue light here. What property am I going to animate? Let's see, if we go to the emission strength, that would be it. At frame 20, I want to hit the little dot right next to, to the right of this emission strength property. The little dot creates a keyframe. Boom, there it is. And so at frame 20, it is at 15.9 of power. So this one, strength, I'm going to hit a keyframe. At frame 20, this light here, I'm going to animate the power. Boom. Create a keyframe. And this one. Power, create a keyframe. Right there. So now I move it back one frame, and I take away all the power. The, the strength would be 0, and keyframe it. This pink. At frame 19, zero, keyframe it. Boom, right there. And this light, also the strength. Let's, let's put it to zero and click on the keyframe. This other light, zero, and keyframe it. So now it goes from all off to all on in one frame. So if I hit play, let me, let me go ahead and save this project. Save as, start, this will be two. And hit play, boom, there it is. It turns on and off, on, off, on, off. It just looks like it's um, turning on and off. And that's it, guys. That's pretty much it. Just remember that in order for something to glow, you have to turn on the emissions. And it has to be a mesh or a curve. It cannot be a grease pencil object so that it you can apply a principal BSDF shader and then you'll get the emissions, uh, the color and the strength. That's what we, and then to see it visually, you go to the scene and then turn on bloom. Uh, all I did here was put a couple lights right next to her so that it simulates this glow on her face. That is basically it, guys. Uh, I hope that this video was helpful. And if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you, guys.